On May 6th, we celebrate School Nurses Day. So if you have a school nurse at your school, this might be something that you wanted to do to show your appreciation. You could write a note or a letter to your school nurse on the back um, with some well wishes and some notes of appreciation. So to get us started, let's draw a circle for the head. Remember, I do all of my drawings with a black marker outline first, and then I go back in color. But you can decide what works best for you. You don't have to use a marker. You could use a pencil first if you feel more comfortable. If you're worried about making a mistake and you want to be able to erase. You could use colored pencil. You could use crayon. But I always like to use a black marker to do my outline drawing. All right, on the other one side, we're going to do an ear, which is like the letter C and then a little curve inside. And then on the other side, mirroring that, a backward C with, again, a little line on the inside. Now we're gonna show that she has some hair. So we're gonna do a curve up to the middle point of her top of her head. And then we're gonna do the same thing down to the other ear. All right, that's given her some hair. And now in the olden days, we're in cartoons or um, books, you might see um, that the illustrator has decided to show you that this person is a nurse because a long time ago, nurses wore hats that had uh, that looked similar to what we're drawing now. So I've drawn these two diagonal lines, which right now look like that they are an antenna sticking out of her head. But we're going to join those or unite them with this curve, so it gives the appearance of a little hat. This used to be a stereotypical type of um, nurse's uniform that you might have seen women wear. Um, so we're just doing this simply to signify that this is in fact a nurse. Your school nurse probably doesn't wear this outfit, but for illustration purposes, it will get a point, the point across that this is supposed to be a nurse. Now, I'm drawing a cross because the red cross is also a symbol of medical workers. So you're gonna to wanna to draw a cross at the top on her hat. All right, for her neck, you're gonna do two parallel lines that are vertical to one another. And then you're gonna join those with a U shape. This is going to give her a neck. And then we're gonna give a collar, so a diagonal line down on the left and a diagonal line down on the right and then a curve up to the middle point and then the same thing on the other side. This is giving the illusion or the impression of a collar. Now we're going to do the rest of her body. So we're just going to come off of there and then down like these are her shoulders and maybe she's got on a little lab coat or a white coat so we're gonna make this seem as though that is her lab coat. All right, now we're gonna go back and do her face. So we're gonna do a nose in the center of her face, which is an angle. And we're gonna curl up the end like this to give the appearance of a nostril. Now we're gonna do her eyes as though they're closed. So one U shape and another U shape on the other side. And then some lashes, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And of course, she'll need a smile. You can decide how big or small you want her smile to be. I'm going to do a U shape like this and then add some lips. One, two, and then on the bottom, one. Now I've got my school nurse. If you want to, you can go back and add some details to the hair. You may want to add a few little dots here, maybe on her collar. These are just giving some interest. All right, and there's your school nurse. Now we're ready to color. Uh, if you have never gotten a pack of these kinds of crayons, these are the multicultural crayons. And they're great for skin tones. So depending on your uh, school nurse, you'll want to match her skin uh, with the right color. I'm gonna use brown and do all the skin brown. So I'm gonna start here at the neck. Remember when you're coloring, um, you want to flood all the white space with color so that your project always looks and feels complete. I'm gonna go ahead and do the ears on both sides. 
our school nurse is uh, one of the people at our school who has worked at the school the longest. And she is the heart of our school. She uh, arranges so many staff get togethers and luncheons um, to bring and unite people together. But more importantly, she takes care of all the kids and the adults. When we're feeling bad, she takes our temperature. She makes sure that we are washing our hands and she um, supplies us with hand sanitizer and band-aids and all of those things that make it so that we can be well at school. And she does things like check for headlights. That's got to be fun, right? And uh, yeah, she's just a great lady and she's been around for a long time. And I know that my mom actually was a school nurse for uh, much of my childhood and um, she did that for many many years and retired as a school nurse as well so as you can tell nurses hold a special place in my heart and now more than ever with watching the news and seeing how all of the healthcare workers nurses and doctors are all joining together to help battle this virus that has taken hold of our world and they are giving up so much of their selves, themselves, on a daily basis to help keep the public well and to fight the good fight and make sure that people are taken care of. And that may mean putting their own lives in danger, or that may mean having to give up time with their own family, all to help take care of us. So I thought that it would be cool to spend some time doing these uh, drawings as a show of appreciation for all that they do. And I hope that you have a school nurse at your school that you can count on for all of your medical needs while you're at school. All right, I've chosen black. You want to do the hair the same way as the skin, making sure that you've chosen a color that best matches or represents the color of the hair of your school nurse. And don't worry, if you have a uh, school nurse who is a male, um, I'm going to show you how you can draw a male school nurse as well so that it can be appropriate for your school nurse. All right. I'm going to color the red cross. Obviously, I'm going to color it red. I'm leaving the rest of the hat white. Typically, we see nurses' uniforms be white in cartoons or movies, and so that's why the lab coat is going to also stay white. But then you can choose any color you want to do. Um, oh, I'm going to do her lips red, too. But you can choose any color you want to do her um, blouse or shirt that she's wearing underneath the lab coat. So I'm gonna leave the collar and the jacket white, but I'm gonna color this a different color. So let me grab my other crayons real quick and I'm just gonna do, um, this purple is nice. Like I said, if you want, you could write a note either on the front in these spaces here, or you could use the back and write a note when you're writing a note uh, to say thank you to someone or to appreciate them, make sure you're being specific. Maybe you have a story about a time, maybe the nurse helped you pull a tooth, maybe the nurse helped you when you um, broke uh, an arm or you fell and scraped your knee or helped teach you some good health lessons. So maybe be specific about what they've done for you. So that is a example of how you could do a female nurse, and now I'm going to show you how you might do a male nurse. It's very similar. You are going to do a head to begin with, which is just going to be the circle. And then you're going to do the two ears, one, and then two. And then you're going to do the hair. So 
here I'm gonna do hair that would match maybe something that I would have but of course you can be creative here if you want to be more precise in giving your cartoon or your illustration some hair that looks more like the hair of your school nurse then of course you can do that all right and then I've got this hair coming off over here okay and now the face well let's go ahead and do the neck two parallel lines vertical and this time I'm gonna do a V here because he's wearing scrubs scrubs are like a doctor or nurse's uniform and then I'm gonna have two slants or diagonal lines coming off as though they're the shoulders and then down to create the rest of the body now to signify this guy is a nurse I'm going to um, have him wearing a stethoscope. So I'm gonna make it look as though the stethoscope is going around the neck because they'll oftentimes, when they're not using them, wear them around the neck. I'm gonna do a circle here and a circle here. And then I'm gonna do a U-shape here with an earpiece and an earpiece. So this is the stethoscope is what they would wear in their ears and they use this part part here to listen to your heartbeat or to listen to your lungs breathing. And then I'm going to go back and do the face. So this time I'm going to do a nose like this, still an angle and still curl up, but it's going in the opposite direction than when we did the other one. You can choose your smile, how big you want it to be. And then I'm going to also do closed eyes, but I'm not going to add lashes this time. And there you have your medical, uh, your male nurse. And I'm gonna color his him to match whatever skin tones or color hair colors that might best suit your needs. So I'm gonna choose this color for skin. Remember to flood all the white space. I think it's important that we recognize that um, a long time ago, people might have said, boys aren't nurses, boys are the doctors. But that is not the case anymore. Anyone can do anything, no matter your gender. There are not specific jobs for boys or specific jobs for girls. think of your teachers. Maybe um, a lot of you think, oh, I've never even had a boy teacher, but boys can be teachers. I'm a teacher. And um, so we just want to be sure that we don't trap ourselves into believing that there are jobs just for boys or just for girls. Now you want to make sure your hair color, whatever hair color would match for you. I'm going to do this color. You might even do two shades. You don't have to stick with just one. So maybe I'll do two different browns here. And it might just create a little extra bit of interest in our illustration. So there's one brown and here's another, a darker one. Just kind of gives him two shades in his hair. Of course you match yours or do yours however you want so that it suits you. All right, the stethoscope is going to be black and gray. So I'm gonna color the inside black and the outside. I'm gonna still use the black, but color a little bit lighter. And I'm gonna color that in 
just have a quick spray. And then the last thing I need to do is color his scrubs. And I'm gonna use a light blue for that. But again, you can use whatever color. Scrubs come in all different kinds of colors. So you don't have to just use what I'm using. You can use something that you like better. Remember to color in all the white space so that your illustration, especially if you're gonna give this to somebody, you want it to feel complete and finished and not hurried and rushed. You wanna look like you took your time to make this neat because it's a gift. It's something you're gonna to give to them and you want them to know that you took the time to care. Now the same thing is true here. You could write a note on these white spaces or you could flip it over and write a note saying thank you. Remember that May 6th is um, National School Nurses Day. So I hope that you can find a way to appreciate your school nurses even though we're not at school. Maybe you could take a picture of your picture and email it to the school nurse or to your teacher, and I bet they could find a way to get it to the school nurse too so that they know that you appreciate them. I'll see you next time.